I'm Jay McDonald and I'm very excited to be playing at the Enchantress in Jack and the Beanstalk. The Enchantress is the keeper of the beans. She's the one that makes everything good wherever she goes. So all the problems that are going on, she just comes in and says a few words, sings a few songs, waves a little wand and everything is wonderful. It's going, to ha it's going to be a more musical based show, because obviously I'm in it this time, so you know, I've got some big numbers, quite emotional numbers, but then the rest of it is just out and out, carry on comedy. Um, even when there isn't comedy written, there will be comedy, because the three of us when we get together, plus Gary Wilmot thrown in, forget it, it's just going to be a hoot. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to working with them and, and knowing them as I do, um, it, it's going to be a a made-up show, <laughs> knowing them, uh, but also a dream come true for me to be working with the wonderful Gary Wilmot. For many, many years I've wanted to work with Gary, so this is fantastic for me. I can't believe it's taken me 17 years to, to actually come into Panto, but I have been extremely busy <laughs> for the last 17 years, um, and I was under contract with um, a television company, which I couldn't get seven weeks off at a time before. Um, and of course I was touring at the same time, so there was just no way I could have done everything. So now that I'm not on Loose Women anymore, it's freed me up to do so many other things. And this is the first time here at the Hippodrome in Birmingham. I can't wait, it's going to be such a hoot. I know both of them very well and it is going to be wild. That's all I can say really. The three of us together, forget it, you know, we've, we've all been in the business quite some time now, and I actually um, worked with Duncan, I, I actually was hosting a show where I first put him on stage all those years ago, so he's, it's just great to be on the same stage as him now, and of course Chris Gascoigne, what can I say, he's, got, he's a brilliant actor, and, uh, and really good fun, <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking forward, he's not at all like his character in the street, That's good. He's, uh, he's fantastic fun. The singer of your song is the new album out, and um, that's the title track. It's a song I wrote, the singer of your song is a song I wrote for my fans, just to say thank you for staying with me for 17 years. Um, it's a tribute to them for every night coming and supporting me all the way through. And that's what I am really, Chris. I'm just someone who sings songs and people want to come and hear their particular favourite. There will always be a singer and there will always be songs. So. That's really what I'm all about. But there's, there's some uh, extremely lovely songs on that. The Rose, which is a duet with my best friend Sue Ravy. Um, Love is All, the big classic there. That fantastic song, Love is All. We've done, working with the uh, Prague Philharmonic was a dream come true as well. And Nigel Wright, the producer, who was just amazing. So it's, it's been a fantastic album for me to do, and 18 tracks. That's value for money. Yeah, <laughs> The tour is vast, and the tour is spectacular, and it's got a, a local lad, Steve Cooper, who's my guitarist, who's now one of my co-writers as well. I think it's all his family that turned up, basically, but he's a very talented young man. Um, but it, it is this full stage set, ma amazing gowns, fantastic musicians, and it's a juggernaut that comes into town. We do everything from Love Is All, You're My World, to Tamla Motown to Donna Summer medleys, that the whole shebang is in there. It's a real feel good show. Good night. I can't wait to see people in Panto. It's something I've never done before, but just looking at the size of the production, the, the outfits, the people who are in it, the cast, the children, it's just going to be the best Christmas present ever. I sincerely hope I see everyone there. <laughs>